as a real estate coach, I get a lot of questions from my clients that they get a lot of leads coming in, but these people, they're not ready to transact. They change their status to junk leads and move forward. At the end of the year, we find that we're not hitting financial goal. And the reason for that, that these leads, they just at the top of the funnel. And in this video, I will teach you how to move the lead from the top of the funnel to signing the closing paperwork with you. So please click subscribe button, like this video, and keep watching to learn exactly how to do that. All right, so let's take a look at the sales funnel. Sales funnel uh, divided by three categories. I call them the magic million, chunky middle, and the sweet spot. So the magic million is when the people in consideration. Typically, these people from six months to 18 months from the purchase. They scrolling through Facebook feed and they see a nice listing and they like, huh, I wanna look at the house. Click, I wanna give them my information in return to uh, getting more information about the property. So when they enter your CRM, you absolutely need to call and qualify them. Ask them the question about what made them click on your ad? What's the time frame? What's the reason to move? Have they thought about specific community? What's their financial situation? Have they talked to the lender or are they paying cash? And hopefully they will answer the phone, but quite frankly, they won't. So we continue to market to them. And as time goes, as and as you continue to send them valuable information about market, send them listings, send them videos, uh, send them real estate tips, send them um, just listed, just sold cards, you're moving them to the chunky middle where they in research phase. In research phase, they want to learn more specifics. So this is the time for you to call them again and qualify them on what's their vision and what's their true motivation to make the purchase. How far are they from making the purchase? At this point, they need to get the video such as what is the trending colors? How to assess the uh, curb appeal? How to price your home right? What is the earnest money deposit? Can we ask the seller for a seller concession? All this information will be used towards either choosing you as the agent who represent them or your competitor. So, and then the last one, I would call it a sweet spot. But this is where the person is ready to make the decision, make the purchase. And this time they will call you or better you call them and start digging deeper on what's their motivation how soon can they move? Uh, what's their financial status? Uh, have they qualified by the lender or if they pay in cash and they have certain amount saved already? And this way we need to see what their focus is. So they might be focusing on the real estate. In other words, you can qualify them and they say, all it matters to me, I wanna find three bedroom house with two baths, updated kitchen, in this neighborhood. That's what's important for me. I don't care about anything else. The second is when people focus on the money. Especially with sellers, they concern about what is your commission? What is the sales price? What is your marketing? How you can sell you my house for more? What exactly are you gonna do compared to the other agent who competes with you? So that's something that you need to find out, especially when they're in the sweet spot, what's their focus? Are they focused on housing or are they focused on the money? And the last type of focus is on the agent. This is the easiest and nicest way to do business with this type of clients when they're in the sweet spot and they focus on the agent and they choose you as an agent to represent them. They trust you that you will find them the best property on the market 
at the best price, you negotiate the best terms or vice versa. If you're a seller's agent, that you sell it for the most money possible in the shortest period of time. You have to go through the funnel from magic spot to chunk terminal to sweet spot and make this process easy for every single client that you work with. I don't know that word junk lead. It's just a real person who's not ready to transact right now. Be patient and do it professionally. Fight your competition. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.